Alright guys, this is that video following the one I showed you how to install and set up the Lineage 2 tower bot thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you right now how to open it in game and use basic settings and whatnot. So all you're going to do is you're going to have this open, you know, the usual. Just run and inject one, two, three, four. I mean, if you're crazy, you know, all at the same time. Just going to let that launch. Diablo 3 beta. <clears throat> Sorry, it's taking a little longer. I have two other bots open right now. Alright, you gotta go ahead and log in. You know, just type in your completely bot name, L2 Tower setup. Type in that password. Agree, disagree, whatever. Choose a server. It doesn't really fucking matter. Just do Bards. I'm going to show you this all the way from the account creation, because that is how serious this is. Oh god. Uh, L2 Tower. Create. Yes. Let's see how far in game I can get with this name. By the way, I'm not paid by this company to support it. It's just easy mode to play the game. The game gets hard after about level 70, so you, need really, you really need a bot anyways. Oh, Great Darkness. Cool story, bro. Alright. Let's see. Gotta get this first quest. Have to, have to, have to, have to. I remember. Alright. Oh my god. Pissing me off. Alright. Sorry it's a little shooty graphics, but I have the other two bots running in the background. So, to, to keep everything moving sl smoothly, I just fucking. for the sake of time. Alright. So, I'm going to show you the basics of how to open the fucking bot. You just type double backslash. Oof. Sorry. Getting into the lag zone. Double backslash. CFG. That opens this little command prompt on the side, or this little prompt over here, the GUI for the bot. Now when pause on is on, that means that the bot is paused. So you really gotta realize that. In the bottom of the screen right here in the chat log, it'll say resumed, pause. So that way you know which one you're doing. In each one of those tabs, oh, look at that quest guy, it's just gonna interrupt the fuck out of me. Sorry, I wanna get, I wanna get combat in here so I have to pretty much show you how it's done. Alright, anyways, like I was saying, type the double backslash CFG. Each one of these categories item use, stance songs, follow, pick up, PvP target, nuke attack, spoil sweep, fishing, party, SCP, yeah, 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 so forth. When they're not highlighted, that means that they're obviously not active. Each one of those are separate scripts that are running, so if they're not highlighted, they're not going to run. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose the ones you want. And this guy changed. This is not the same guy who used to be here. It's weird. Alright. Alright, let's see. So, item use. You normally want to turn this one on. It doesn't matter. You can choose what you want. I just leave it all on because 9 times out of 10, you don't have that shit in your inventory. You'll pretty much just have HP potions, which is what really matters. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't matter, I mean, you usually won't have most of these, like, ever. So don't really worry about that. Alright, let me just go ahead and get the shit out of the way. Why lag? Why? Alright. So yeah, as you can see though, chat logs will open, will destroy it. Song and Dance, that's for Song and Dances. I don't use it because... I can't fucking really figure out how to use it, but this is in milliseconds, obviously, your delays of how you use it. I'm, I'm assuming that's just for when you know you're in a group and you're selling your, your dances, really, because other than that, it's so useless because you'll cast them every five fucking seconds. And to click it all the way up would take decades, so it's just not worth it. So I just don't fucking do it. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay, you got follow. Now that's if you have like a buffer and it's following your character in game. That's what you're gonna want to use that for. Look at that. Didn't even kill it because someone else did. 
So if you want to use that, that's this minimum range, which means it's how, how close it will get, and that's how far away it will go. Point, fall player, first, nearest, pretty easy. Alright. And then you got pickup. That is where the real shit starts going down. Alright, let's go. This is the best part to show combat. Alright. I'm surprised no one said anything about my name. It's just fucking screaming it everywhere. Alright. I'm going to show you, like, a really basic setup. Okay. Alright, here we are, here we are, here we are. we got some monsters here. Alright. You open up your command prompt. You're going to want to turn your pickup on. I normally do pickup after, so that way you're not picking up if you're getting attacked. Because if you put a pickup before, you'll normally get attacked because it's pickup before you attack. And if something's aggroed after you kill something, you'll pick it up. So you want to keep that on. Generally, you want to keep that at about a thousand or plus. I will filter it easily. Player, orphan, pet, party, clan, filter all this off. That means that you'll try to pick up everyone else's crap. You don't want that crap. This is only things that drop by monsters. So you want you want everything that you've hit and killed, and for monsters. If you have PvP on, you want to turn players on. Orphans is, are ones that have timed out. Sometimes it doesn't catch that right. So you want to turn that on like that. PP target, if you really want to go red all the time, this is what you want to do, or if you're doing a castle siege just to die right fast and chill in the field, that's what you want to do. Nuke attack, now this, I can't really show you it, but you turn it on, pretty much, if you don't know what nuking is, you'll just have a set of your spells in order, and you'll add them to it, you'll put, you know, add the spell, hit yes, you have to put a target on it, yes, you want it to repeat, and then how long you want it to wait before you cast it again, that's the range. When you're using the range, now see if you're trying to bot a ranged ma mage character, you want to turn this range up as fucking high as possible. Because what that means is it's going to spam the fuck out of that spell until it starts firing it, so that way it pushes you to the to target so you don't have to use melee. You really don't need the, a the AoE or any of that crap, don't really worry about that. I don't usually do it. Oh yeah, you can do that, you can choose you know, when you want to cast it, of course. Alright, so let's say you use a nuke. Uh, spoil sweep. That's for, of course, dwarfs, you know, yes, yes, boom, it'll spoil and sweep the body. Fishing, I'll get to this one in another video, because this one's kind of complicated, so I'll get that probably here in next video, yeah, we'll be with fishing. Party, it's pretty much just finds people, puts you in a party, and then, or puts you in a clan, it'll just fucking add you, it doesn't matter, and then it'll change the loot for you and all that fun jazz, so that we don't have to worry about it. HP, MP, recovery, these are your healing things, of course. I when, Each one of these is your tabs for it, so this, this is your CP, turn it on. This is this is the skills you're going to use. This is your HP, turn it on, this is the skills you're gonna, and these are the skills you're going to use. This is really iffy, I wouldn't use it either. I would just stick with he, uh, healing pots. This is, you know, obviously to add the target to your heals. Um, the same thing with all these, they're exactly identical to just CP, HP, MP, obviously. Uh, let's see, party buffs. I don't use this either, but this is pretty much like, you know, your your uh, rhymes and whatnot. I don't fucking use it. I'll just put it in the nuke, because it's just easier to, to set it all up in a quick rotation. Assist, that's, you know, to assist another bot that you have, so that way you have a bot with a bot with a bot with a bot all attacking the same target, so that way you, don't have, you can just, you know, just fucking kill them all. instant. Do that easily. Three bots go at the same time, you're good to go. Uh, pet pickup, I mean, you can turn it on. Just AFK and the pet's really there, too, but that's 50% of your EXP. I wouldn't use it. It's not worth it anymore. PvE target. Now, this is where the whole thing comes together. You get your, you get your what is this, four? From character, from point, from inside polygon, from inside pathing. These last two are really iffy. I can't figure out really how they work, but pretty much polygon, you draw a zone, it goes within those zones. The path points, it'll follow a path, but sometimes it doesn't. I normally use this one. What I'll do is like stay right here. I'll go ahead and set the center point here. I'll set this if there's no monsters. I'll turn the range to about a thousand. That'll cover this room, give or take a few. You have to kind of teeter with that to figure out your, all your things. And you want to go to the filter up here. This is going to tell you what you're going to hit. You want to hit only. You only want to hit the only. I'm oh, sorry. You only want to check pet, party, clan, friend, other. Which means that only if you hit it, you'll attack it. 
So if someone else hits it, you don't attack it. Pretty much is what it does. Just leave it like that. Could be the other way around. I'm not for sure, but to find out. You want that like that. Melee, obviously, if you're a melee based character, enable 50. If you, if you have the party thing going together, that's what you want to do. And then you have that one character that doesn't do it, and then your whole party attacks at the same time. That's pretty much what you want to do with the assist. Uh, you can do yeah, you, you have a pet in there too, if you want to. But it's really dumb. Sit stand, this is what you want to do. You turn this on, sit. If your health is uh, less than uh, if if your health is less than five percent, you sit down. Pretty much what that does. And then you stand when it's greater than 100. And you shoot, you hit here, there's a point you'll sleep. So if your health becomes lower than 5, you come back here and you'll sit here until you uh, get up and you're good to go. Resurrection, again, iffy. I don't fucking know if feathers are reusable. If they are, then you want to have that on, obviously. Other than that, it's pretty much not really going to help you. you. It really doesn't matter. If you die, you die, pretty much. I mean, if you can tinker with it, you can figure it out. I just choose spots where I won't die. That's how it works. Subclass quests, this obviously won't work for a reason, and that's because the premium. Same thing with these scripts here. Let me teach you this. You get custom menu. You don't get that unless you buy the $25 license. Script, this is for $25 license too. If you want right here, it'll do your character from level 1 to 20, right there. And, uh, if you hit edit, obviously it'll bring up the edit menu of this thing. You won't have the script until you pay for it, and then you'll get the script. And then you can edit the code for whichever character you're making. And if you really want me to show you that, just leave a comment. Plugins, these automatically load up when the bot comes up. Don't worry about that. Generally, this is all you're going to need. That's pretty much how you do it. So just to recap, you want it, you want it like this. Just You can pause it and take a look. I'd put uh, about a 1,000. It's pretty good. Walk range, maybe. A little higher, there you go. PvP target, about a thousand for right about here, looks good. Melee, same, looks pretty good. Sit stand, obviously not gonna die. Alright, and then you gotta, what, I'm gonna show you this one thing. If you target something, turn the bot on, it's not gonna fucking do anything, because it's just gonna wanna attack that target right here, that I've already targeted, and it won't unselect it. Will not unselect it. So, before you turn your bot on, hit that X, get that bitch out of there. And then just turn it on, and then boom, it attacks to, it targets a crawler, and then it'll attack, obviously. I don't have any skills at this level, so I'm just going to melee it to death. Mm -hmm. If you want me to show you, like, my mystic that's doing it, I can make a video for that. But I, and the only reason I'm not using my real accounts is because I, I don't feel like having to go into Vegas and motion blur the fuck out of everything so you can't see <laughs> the gauze blur them. So, see how it kills and it picks up? Same concept, same concept, just gonna go all the way around. Now if you want to use shots, before you, before you set the bot up and leave it alone, just right click those shots, leave them on. You know, it's not gonna turn them on by itself unless you uh, turn it on for it, so. It missed one, I have no idea why it missed one. There you go. And it also has very bad pathing, see how that's kind of wiggling through there? So you gotta try, try to choose areas that are really, really flat and don't have much to run through. Or figure out the polygon pathing system. I really just don't. <laughs> I just like mm, can find a spot that's you know relatively clear, and it works just fine. And that's and then you see how it runs back to that point that I said, and then boom, it just ran and away from all the respawn. Obviously they won't respawn. That's pretty much how you use it. If you want me to uh, show you how to use ranged and everything, just ask in the comments. Other than that, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do a fishing video because that's how everyone wants to make the bucks. I'm going to show you. So. Yep, that's pretty much all you do. And then, of course, if you try to walk away, it's going to want to walk back, so <laughs> turn it off before you try to interact. Another thing, too, is if you die, and it's still on when you hit the, when you hit the go to the to village, it'll try to walk in a straight line to it, and obviously won't make it. Um, I do know, though, that if you buy the premium as well, you in the custom menu, they also have a new thing that's uh, global pathing, so that way you can create a path from where you die. You can walk all the way back, so that way it's pretty good. Get your own special path. So, if you want to buy the, the premium version, I'd suggest it if you're going to use it a lot. But that's pretty much how you use it, just, you know, here, there, not really going to hardcore it. So, if you want me to show you a little more spells, just comment. Next video is going to be fishing. Ta-ta for now.